Hello. In the previous video, you looked at the different ways that people broadcasting the news can use conversational style to connect with the audience. In this video, we'll look at the way that broadcasters use present tense and active voice to connect with the audience, the viewers of the news. When a broadcaster presents the news, they want to communicate immediacy to the audience. Immediacy means you feel like something is happening now. For example, a broadcaster wants the viewers to feel like they are experiencing a major sports event as it happens. The broadcaster wants the person watching the news to feel part of the story. The main ways to do this are to use present tense and active voice. Let's look at present tense first. We're going to look at present progressive in this video. We mostly use present progressive to describe actions that are happening now. We make the present progressive by using a form of the verb to be and adding ing onto the main verb. For example, in the sentence, snow is causing problems in New York, we have the subject, snow, followed by the verb to be, is, and then the main verb, cause, with ing. The broadcaster is showing that the action is happening now. Here's another example. Crowds are gathering outside the Vatican. We have the subject, crowds, the verb to be, are, and the main verb, gather, with ing. By using present progressive, the broadcaster shows that the event is happening now and the viewer feels like they are part of the story. The second way that broadcasters connect to the audience is by using active voice. Active voice is livelier and helps the broadcaster to create a conversation with the audience. In previous videos, you looked at when journalists need to use passive voice in print media. This is also true in broadcast journalism, but whenever they can, broadcast journalists try to use active voice. Let's look at an example. Remember, we want to use present tense and active voice. Workers are being hurt by new laws. This sentence is already in present tense, but is in passive voice. The subject, workers, are not the doer of the verb. It is clear that the new laws are doing the hurting. So, we need to change the voice from passive to active by making new laws the subject. We now have a sentence that is in present tense and active voice that communicates to the audience that the action is happening now and that they are involved in the story. So, in this video, we looked at how broadcasters use present tense and active voice to create a sense of immediacy for the audience. The present tense could be present progressive to show something is happening now. Next, you're going to look at how a journalist creates a broadcast script. 